Obviously, I think it might have been his first touch of the second half. He's been absolutely starved of possession. He looked a bit casual over that free, and that's a very poor wide at this stage of the game. 23. John Power is on now as well. And Ger Aylward is the one who's gone off. 117 to 17 points. Well, Kilkenny, who played poor enough by their standards of the first half, were very fortunate to be only three points behind. They have up the ante in the second half. They may be strapped for players in some respects of quality and experience, but my goodness, they're making everything count right now. And Colin Fennelly knocks this beautifully over the crossbar. His first point. Every one of the forwards starting today for Kilkenny has now scored. It's like normal service was resumed. And the genie is out of the bottle. Once more, Kieran Joyce. Under pressure is Johnny Cohen. Gets it back down again. It's getting to the stage where they need a goal pretty soon. Goal well at their stage, a major finish to this match. Out comes Porrick Mannion. Avoids the hook of Walter Welch. They've got to get some possession down there. They've got to make it count. It's the youngster. It's Connor Whelan. And he's put it to the wrong side of the post, and he's put it wide. Yeah, did the goalie get a little flick to that? We see it again here now. It's a question of whether or not the ball was out over the line, I guess, before the keeper did no. get the stick to it. No, I think it's a wide ball, and very poor effort there for Conor Whelan. He watched the break very well, but then a weak shot and out by the post. They just needed a player with a bit more experience, I would imagine, a big match action to, to be in that situation. Absolutely. Well, look at it. I said a few minutes ago about Colin Fenley staying on the field ahead of Richie Hogan. Paul Murphy comes out, beautiful ball. The last few minutes of Anal Ireland showing that composure to pick out Colin Fenley and he stuck it over the band. Greg Lally is on for uh, Cyril Donnellan. Lally normally a centre back, he's gone into midfield, come centre back, centre field really. Murphy's puck out for Kilkenny towards Walter Welch over there as well. Owen oh, Narkin, two men so good in the air. The clearance isn't a good one. It comes straight to Porrick Welch and Porrick Welch would love to score in the All Ireland hurling. He's done it. Yeah, that's a great score from Tari Welch. He's had a brilliant game, I think, today. Again, he was brilliant in the final here last year. Uh, not much talk about him coming up to the match. It was all about Killian Buckley, who had a quiet first half better in the second half. But Walsh there, uh, reminiscent of his brother Tommy Superscore. Just over seven minutes to go now as David Burke tries to set something up here. It's with Greg Lally. And Lally and Galway needed a score. But between that one and the Conor Whelan effort a little while ago, the confidence levels are beginning to just ebb away and drain away now at this stage. You know, it's nearly as if Galway thought the game was over at half time. They came out, first half all guns blazing, huge work rate, huge intensity. But you have to do that for the whole 70 minutes. And, you know, Kilkenny just closed up shop at half time around the half back line. Michael Fenley in particular has been immense, as he was last year in the, in the final against Tipperary. And uh, Galway just dropped their work rate, and that's the main difference. Shane Maloney, who rescued. Galway right at the very end of the Tipperary match and got the winner that day has just come on for Jason Flynn who had a great first half with uh, Freeze and one great point but didn't do an awful lot in the second half he has now been replaced and they've had to make a lot of changes they have uh, made five changes now that I can see so far one of them might have been a temporary some but changes have been made Joe Canning's about to take this this has put four between them They'll have five minutes or a little under of the 70, but there'll surely be another two minutes added on to that. Seven points from Joe Canning, all of them in the first half, nothing at all in the second. Can he rectify that situation? He seems to have done so with his eighth. There is still a pulse. There's still a possibility for Galway. Four minutes to go. Yeah, edge they, of the seat. They need the next score, Jared. They need to get back to a goal. When you're in a goal in Hurling, you, you know, you're obviously in the game. And the game can turn very, very quickly. Owen Murphy's goal has uh, rarely been under threat, however, it has to be said. Galway trying to win this in their own half back line. David Collins down there, number 22, in the thick of it, but it's Kilkenny who emerged with it. Walter Welch trying to set up an opportunity there for one of the powers, a bit like last year when the two powers, Richie and John, featured in the replay against Tipperary and did so well. Goal and a point each that day. For it, Walsh back in, not a great clearance. Straight to David Collins, seemed to be fouled by Walter Welsh. Play continues, and it's uh, Colin Fennelly now taking that pass in his stride, 22 metres out, and it flashes over the bar. A second for Colin Fennelly, one of those fiercely determined competitors for Kilkenny. 
gifted, a little unpredictable, came on in 2012 on the uh, replay and got one of the three goals that day. Two points here today might be enough. Five between them. Yeah, he's a huge engine. He stays going strong to the end and, you know, two points there in the last few minutes, massive from him. Cahal Mannion. It's a goal that Galway need at this stage. Kilkenny denying them, however, just... Uh, encamped there around that D area and refusing to yield anything for the tribesmen no clear openings once again the referee forced to throw it in that must be about four or five times he's had to do that in this match not typical of an All-Ireland final which is usually much more free-flowing free Kilkenny have shown the resolve and the determination but it's uh, Cahal Mannion who emerges with it gets it back there as far as Conor Cooney the man has been out of Hurley for so long has missed another one and now they have had three wides in a row there. That's 12 wides in all in this match. And he realises it's certainly not going their way. Hasn't given up the uh, the ghost, however. Lost by seven in the Leinster final to Kilkenny. Promised they'd be back. But it hasn't really got any better. Five between them. They need something special. Porrick Mannion all the way down. Trying to slip it in there towards Shane Maloney, but this time it's Paul Murphy who keeps a very close eye on him. Great catch, Owen Larkin. Laid off as far as TJ Reid. Two men waiting for it in the inside. It's the two powers, Richie and John. And that time it was Richie playing it across the field. Michael Fennelly's first effort was blocked down by David Burke. Goes a second time. They have a winning look about them at this stage, if there was any doubt. They have dominated the second half. They've been much the better team in the uh, 33, nearly 34 minutes we've had so far. And they have opened up a six-point lead. Or is it a... It's a... Six-point six, yeah. That's bad. Walter Welch to make it seven. Two for Walter Welch in this final. Yeah, this is what they do. You know, Richie Power there, you mentioned him. Came on last year for his first ga game of the year against Limerick in the All Ireland semi final. Changed that game, had a brilliant final, and to come on here in the final again has made a big difference, has created a couple of scores there. And Walter Watch is in a massive second half again. It's like they've turned on the tap after half time, and goal we haven't really had an answer so far. Connor Whelan, Whelan charging in, loses his footing, however, as he lost possession as well and lost the chance. Again, he picks it up here. He's a very daring young player who has given everything he's got, Conor Whelan, in this, in this match. I'm not sure is it going to be enough on this particular afternoon. There are going to be two minutes of added time. Galway have a free on the 20-meter line. They simply have to go for a goal here. It's uh, Joe Canning's turn. Eight points so far. A quiet word there from Shane Maloney to Joe Canning, the 26-year-old. This has to go into the back of the net and they have to hope that there's time for another one. Seven points adrift, he hits it, it's trickling around on the line and it's TJ Reid who's back there trying to work his way out, forced out over the end line there. It's uh, going to be a, a 65. But TJ Reid, a man for all seasons, a man for all positions as well. A goal and seven points this afternoon. So once again, it's Joe Canning who's going to have to take this. Second time of asking. It slips through and they have a goal. Goal and eight now for Joe Canning. So 122 to 118, but we've already played one minute of the added time. It was uh, second time of asking. Yeah, great strike, Jar, but you know, the same thing I often say, too many people on the line. See TJ Reid there behind uh, Paul Murphy, just missed it and trickled into the net. So it's a, a four-point game, and goal will have to try and come again, but they're now only about 30 seconds away from the finish of this match. And Kilkenny will hold on, you would imagine. And Brian Cody once again on the sideline, ready to salute another major victory. You think about it, 35 national trophies this will be when this one finishes in a few seconds' time. What a record over the years. That one drops in there and drops over the bar, I think. No, it's gone to the left. And 
disappointment there for Richie Power. But good to see him back. They're counting down the seconds, the Kilkenny crowd, as Forignanian plays it out of defence to Richie Reed once to uh, TJ Reed once again, and it's now all over. And the cheering is Kilkenny who are cheering. Brian Cody and his backroom team celebrate once again. Kilkenny have retained their title and won another All-Ireland final. And the players are celebrating. It's a two in a row this time for Brian Cody and his squad as they see off the challenge of Anthony Cunningham's Galway. It's like Kilkenny were winning it for the first time in. They have that passionate desire. It's still there. Broken-hearted Joe Canning on his hands and knees. Across goes Shane Prendergast for a quiet word. Even the doctor is jumping.